Amy Coney Barrett has become the ninth justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. In the coming hours, Barrett will be sworn in at the ceremony at the White House. The appointment of the conservative justice was among the top priorities of Senate Republicans, despite strong opposition from the Democrats. Our Lee Kyung-un reports. Amy Coney Barrett, President Trump's Supreme Court justice nominee, has been confirmed despite objections from Democrats. At the final vote by the U.S. Senate on Monday at 7 p.m. local time, the conservative justice was backed by a Republican majority. It was a likely outcome given the Republicans' control of 53 out of 100 seats in the chamber. Democrats were vocal in their opposition, however, citing the lasting effect the nomination could have on the country's health care and the rights of individuals. The 48-year-old Barrett previously criticized rulings upholding Obamacare. The devout Catholic who personally opposes abortion also told that she believed the previous ruling legalizing abortion nationwide could be overturned. What has also angered Democrats is that the nomination comes just over a week ahead of the presidential election. Democrats have seen a Supreme Court nomination by former President Barack Obama back in 2016 refused because it was an election year. They called Barrett's nomination illegitimate while also boycotting the Judiciary Committee's approval vote for Monday's confirmation. We are boycotting this illegitimate hearing. The nomination of Amy Coney Barrett is the most illegitimate process I have ever witnessed in the Senate. Despite objections, Republicans had quickly pushed ahead with Barrett's nomination proceedings following the death of the late Democratic Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg last month. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.